My lifelong ambition is to become number one in the world. And I know that I'm relatively close to achieving this goal. But I don't want to put any pressure on myself with regards to this aim. It's important to remember that I'm only 21 and there are not many players who have become number one in the world at this age. I think generally most of the heptathlete is quite tall, um, quite strong and powerful. Um, but obviously I'm tiny and a little bit different and, you know, at the start when I started out doing heptathlon people, you know, questioned whether I would, I'd be very good at it just because of my height and whether I'd be able to jump as high and stuff. But yeah, I, d I think, you know, it's probably better to be a little bit taller, but it's not a hindrance at all and there's different shapes really, but generally tall and quite strong. <laughs> seems to be the best. When I step out onto the court, I believe in myself and in my ability to win tennis matches. Obviously there are some occasions when I don't perform as well as I expect to, or in the manner that I wish to play. But one thing about me is that I always try my best. I never give up, and I have a real fighting spirit out on the court. This approach has served me well, and I've achieved some good results in my career. Well, up to now I have anyway. <laughs> To be able to wear the same Santos jersey that all those sensational players wore is great. To wear the same jersey as star players like Pele, Robinho and Alano just makes me so happy to be playing for Santos Football Club. My parents always supported me for that because uh, they never expected me to reach at such a higher level so soon. They were just telling me to you know, don't think about the results, just train hard. That is important. If you train hard, the, the results will be out. You know. Don't worry about the results.